three. Okay. So we're live again with Nathan Crawford. We had a couple of technical difficulties to go through, but I think we got that squared up so we can finish our interview with Nathan. <laughs> so, um, like I said, you were running back, 1,000 yards, 22 touchdowns or 23 touchdowns. Yes. Um, you got your biggest, strength as a, biggest strengths as a player. What is something that makes, like, I don't know, you love football, the sport of football? Like, mm. You know, is it the position you play? Is it scoring? Is it being on offense? Is it just the game itself? What do you think? I love, like, playing with, like, a team and, like, our coaches are great. And I also just love the sport. Like, I love, like, the action of everything and just, like, the heat of the moment. It's just, like, it's just awesome to me, so. Yeah. I tell people not everybody can play football. It's it's a yeah. difficult sport. You know, it looks easy on TV. Yeah. <laughs> it looks painless on TV, but. You know, it's uh, it's no joke. <laughs> you know, I played it for years, so it's no joke. Yeah. But um, like I said before, what are your what are your goals for next season? Like, what do you want to do next season? Uh, I want to get at least the same amount of touchdowns and yards as last, season, probably even more. And mm -hmm. I think for our school, like it'd be huge if we made playoffs since we're only juniors. Okay. So we're a new school, so I think that'd be really cool as like a team as well to be able to make playoffs and okay so the whole junior squad wants to you know wants to come out and they want to you know they want to they want to become legends right <laughs> okay. step one to becoming a legend yeah. is win is just showing up step two putting in the work step three winning games step four making the playoffs and step five winning the championship it's, yep. everything's a process you know what i'm saying you know saying from winning championships to getting college scholarships you know like even with your college scholarship chase you're at step one in the process well actually no you're at step three in the process step one you showed up step two you know you put in the work and you know what i'm saying in the weight room and training step three you put in the work on the field now step four is you know a combination of keeping your grades correct and um you know just taking advantage of all the showcases and opportunities they put in front of you to get your name out there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. So, like I said before, before we got cut off, how do you feel about playing, you know, top performers from our showcases get to play the Dream All-American Bowl in uh, either Dallas, Texas at the at AT&T Stadium or at SoFi Stadium, the home of the Los Angeles Rams Super Bowl champs. Well, how do you feel about that? That seems pretty cool. Yeah. Like do, I mean, the hard work definitely shows, like, when, if you're – especially if you're picked to be, like, one of the top, it'd be, be a big accomplishment, I think, so. Okay, and where would you rather play? Would you rather play at home in Cali or would you rather play on the road in Dallas at, at Jerry's house? Which one would you rather play at? Mm, I'd want to play here. You want to play at home, game, right? This game's all nice and new, and so it'd be pretty <laughs> cool. But you want to play at home, you want to play for the home team, right? Yeah. Are you a Rams fan or no? I'm not. I'm actually a Baltimore fan. It's like a weird thing, but nah, you don't listen. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm a 49ers fan. I live on the East Coast. It's oh, not yeah. you, you like who you like, yeah. you know? You might like Lamar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's what it is. You know, I can't knock you for that. That's what you <laughs> like. I, I like Jerry Rice growing up. That's that was my dude. So it's <laughs> not a big thing. So, like, I know you're getting ready to blow up this camp circuit this year, and I know you're going to have a fantastic season next year. So, but I can't – I actually can't wait to see you and stuff like that, you know. By the looks of it, I have a feeling that I'm going to be interviewing you very soon again, you know, on top of that. And we're excited that – we're excited to have you, stuff like that, our showcase. I think you're going to end up being a top performer, and I think you're going to put on a show for the guys, you know what I'm saying, out there. So another thing, what kind of offense do you run at the school? I know you can't give up too much, but what type of offense do you guys run? We're really heavy run offense right now. Mm. We're trying to get more into a pass. I mean, our quarterback's doing like he's putting in a lot of work. So uh, I think I think we'll uh, we'll we'll start mixing in both since going up against other varsity teams, it's gonna be hard to just run, 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 run. So we're gonna have to pass a lot more. So. So you got an opportunity to catch some balls yeah. too and expand your mm -hmm. skill set, right? Yep. 
I know you can catch, so <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna put you out there. They're gonna put you out there to expand, expand your skill set, expand your zone, and get all that stuff going on out there, right? Yep. I'm excited to see you do it, man. To see you, man. So uh, before we log off and stuff like that, do you have anybody you want to shout out? Any coaches you want to shout out? Players, you know? Uh, I want to shout out to Coach Bean and uh, Wit and Jacob Baxley because they've okay. uh, been helping our team a lot. So yeah. All right, shout out to them. Shout out to Bean. <laughs> I don't know who Bean is, but he seems cool. He's coach really Baxley. he's a really good coach. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. What is the coach? He's our offensive coordinator. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's the guy you want to be around all the time. Yeah. Coach Bean is watching, man. Yeah. Yo, Nathan, yo, Nathan is out there bigging you up, man. He's saying you're a good <laughs> coach, man. So, you know, to put out a thousand yard running back with 20 something touchdowns, come on now. You're doing, you're doing your job well. So, shout out to him. Come see Nathan at the showcase. Bring some other kids to William. But, uh, Nathan, it was great talking to you tonight. Uh, we were glad to have you on, even with the technical difficulties that we went through. But we seem to have gotten past that. And I thank you for being with us on uh, on uh, the National Radar. Yeah, thanks um, like for having I, me. Yeah, like I said, everybody, like, follow, and subscribe to our channels. Um, see us on the National Radar. Radar.com is featured on there as well. We have write-ups with them and uh, other athletes around the country. Um, shout out to my guy, Ed O'Brien, with 24-7. Uh, as the head writer there for the National Radar. Shout out to him. Um, and as again, like I always say, Coach Creek always says, outwork everyone. And I just say, build your name. I mean, bring your name, build your game. Nathan, thanks for being on with us. We yeah, thank you. It, man.